Okay, so I'm going to go through a little building a truss example here. So I'm going to right click and create some points. Uh, i got to turn on the elements with E. Okay, now you can see what you're, you're doing here. So and you can drag them around after you create them and right click off of them to create new ones. Try not to move the mouse when you when you do. Okay, so I've created a few elements there. And then I'm going to connect them by holding down shift and clicking across. And just hold down shift and click on the next one you want to connect to. Oops. Forgot you got to pause it or else stuff goes flying. So, <coughs> okay. Getting the sheep back in the pasture. Okay. So you can see that the color changes as I drag this, even though I'm in pause mode, it's still calculating the forces. It's just not <coughs> doing any of the dynamics calculations. <coughs> Holding down shift to connect elements. <coughs> okay. So we've got a pretty ugly looking truss here. But, you know, could take a little more time, make it nicer. I'm going to make it a little bit irregular here. Have it be kind of an elevated truss here. Uh, and you can use the grid to kind of guide your symmetry because there's no symmetry con constraints or commands. So, <coughs> okay, so now I've got a little truss going on. But it's all loaded up and I don't want it to be, so I'm going to type in uh, relax. That'll set it back to zero force. And then I'm going to. I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna deselect all nodes. I'm gonna click off with the left mouse button. Then I'm gonna <coughs> then I'm gonna uh, left mouse click on the node. Then I want to constrain. So you can see a little white bar there. Then I'm gonna deactivate it by clicking off of it. And then left mouse click again. So now it's fully constrained. There's a little white X over it. Do the same to the other side. Okay. <coughs> and now we've got a truss and it's ready to run. So, uh, well actually, it looks like it deconstrained the other side. So, right, uh, right mouse click, left mouse click off of it, right mouse click again, right mouse click, left mouse click off of it. Okay, ready to run. Um, let's unpause it now. Okay, nothing's happening because there's no force applied. Let's apply gravity by typing in G, hitting enter. Okay, now gravity's going and it's just integrating its forces and stuff. Um, obviously, there's not a whole lot of load on there. So let's increase the mass to 10. <coughs> see what that does. Guess M was already 10, so set the mass to 20. Let's see how it rolls. Okay, it's just loading up barely, so we'll set the mass to 100. Now it's starting to sag into compression, and you can see some slight tension in the shear members here. So we'll do mass equal to 200. So 200 kilograms at each of those point nodes times 5, <coughs> thousand kg. Let's try thousand each. Try and get some colors going on here. There we go. So now you can see the bridge kind of settling into to a loaded pattern. And it might even toggle through. I think it's going to actually because the weight's so high. So these are like truss elements. They don't support a moment. You can see it's going to probably snap through. At some point, it might just collapse right through there. I think it's going to. can turn on uh, force to see the net force vectors. So now it's kind of collapsing through itself and forming a new stable shape. <coughs> and you can interact with this if you want. Just grab on, give it a yank. <coughs> it's moving really slow because the mass is so high. Um, so 
you can reduce the mass too. Let's go back to 10. Just give it a little attitude. And it's in a toggle position that's not uh, respecting the original shape, so I'll just kind of toggle it back up here. Just kind of drag it back up to where it was. Kind of squirrely. <laughs> Never mind, I give up. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, that's a little truss demo. You could do a bigger one if you if you wanted. There's no way to save it right now though. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna add some more elements in here by <coughs> right-clicking a few times, and I'll connect them together in a chain. Oops. Okay, then I'll connect that to the bridge. And I'll have a little string, a little rope I can pull on the bridge with. <coughs> a little lasso. So it's a pretty flexible system. I mean, you can't save your work, and all the tools are manual, but it's fun to have a little explicit integrator.